Hey there, Project Eva fans, your district attorney Sonic fan here with a quick update on Project Eva Future Tone. So, without further ado, let's get right into this update. So, the extra extreme charts that I was talking about that were added to the arcade edition last time I spoke to you guys they are Marginal, World's End Dance Hall, Unhappy Refrain, Melancholic, Cat Food, Tokyo Teddy Bear, Den Paragym, MMORPG Addicts, Anthem, <laughs> uh, yes, and Odds and Ends are now being added to the PlayStation 4 version of the game. This is only for the Japanese version of the game. But what's awesome about this is that it's going to be included in a free update that not only fixes some problems with the game, like some bug fixes and stabilizations or changes, it, it wasn't really too specific to what they were saying, or at least from what I remember. The big part is we're going to be getting those nine extra extreme charts, which is going to make songs that weren't as fun way more fun and songs that were already fun, well, amazing. So this is also great because whether you have the DX version of the game or the regular old Future Tone version or even just Colorful Tone or Future Sound, that that's how they called the two versions, right? It's not just Project of the Future Tone anymore, right? But yeah, yeah. That's what it was, don't question me. <laughs> whether or not you have any of those versions of the game, you will get this update for free. But this gives me some concerns. It's nice that they're still paying attention to the PlayStation 4, they haven't forgotten about us even though it kind of feels like that, but because of this, because it's just, you know, extra extreme charts, it's like, maybe we're probably not going to get songs. I've, I'm still pretty hopeful that we are going to get songs for the game, you know, new songs, but I don't feel like it's going to be anything else. Like, it's not going to change until something major like Ghost Rule happens where it's a song that rises in popularity very quickly in the way that it did for Ghost Rule or something like that or maybe something like Sand Planet where it was like the celebration of the 10th anniversary and we're going through the 11th anniversary for Miku so maybe something might happen who knows but that's only within the foreseeable future so I'm a bit worried I'm still hopeful that we're gonna get stuff but for right now my opinion is we're probably not gonna get anything new other than extra extreme charts so, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment, and if you want more information like this, please subscribe for more. I'll try to keep up so you guys can get some more stuff, and with that, peace out.